Hello and welcome to HATV News. My name is Sorab and his name is Ellis. Coming up on the show is... Battle of the Bands. Mare for the Day. In the Heights. And the Art Show. So, like, let's talk about Battle of the Bands. Yeah, let's talk about it. Well, here's a video to explain more. Hi. Hi, we're, we're HATV, HATV and, and we're, we're behind, behind the scenes, scenes at Battle of the Bands. Why did you join Battle of the Bands? Because we needed people. We thought it would be fun. Who would you say is your musical inspiration? Well, um, I think my band doesn't really have music. We like different types of genres, but we stick to more like pop and R&B. Music inspiration, I would say my one would probably be some guy I know called Nadine Hussain. Do you think you would fit with that with the bands? Yeah. There's different factors. Because we don't know who we're competing against. There yeah. might be a good school, there might be like a really, really like amazing school. Compared to our school, we never know. Yeah, and like everybody's got different things to bring to the table. Yeah. Well, I like that video. What's your thoughts on it? Well, I liked it a lot, um, especially with the part when um, Nadine got a little extra help from the audience. It, it was like really heartwarming. Also, to know that he's a fellow student at HA, so it was nice to see that. Oh, yeah. Our next school onto the stage is a long one Hammersmith Academy from Hammersmith and Fulham. Come to the stage, guys. So, let's talk about Maya for the day. I heard that JLT did a live broadcast on BBC London Radio. Yeah, I also heard that they went to City Hall um, to promote a healthy food campaign called Feeding Food Friday, where they also met Lindsay Russell, a uh, Blue Peter presenter. Here's a clip. Um, up you come, how are you doing? Good. Would you like to introduce yourselves to the crowd? I'm Shahab. Hi, I'm Amy. And what's your campaign all about? Um, our campaign is called Freaky Foodie Friday, so we are trying to aim for young individuals in society today to get more involved when it comes to cooking. We want them to understand what healthy habits is like, what healthy look, like healthy eating looks like, so they're more involved in the cooking side with their parents. So, I really enjoyed that video. Do you have any thoughts about it? Yeah, well, the campaign actually inspired me to make some food on Friday and I made some nice pancakes and bananas. I thought that was actually really nice. So let's talk about In the Heights. Yeah, um, our reporter Sarah has been behind the scenes talking to Ms. McLaughlin and also interviewing the cast. Hi, I'm Sarah and we're behind the scenes at In the Heights to interview Ms. McLaughlin. What is In The Heights about? Okay, so In The Heights is a relatively new musical. It was first performed in 2005, and it was written by Lin-Manuel Miranda, who you may know has written Hamilton, which is coming to the West End really soon. And the reason why he wrote it is because he wasn't really getting any opportunities as a young actor, and he thought, well, why don't I just write a play for myself? So he did cast himself in the main role, and it explores ideas of gentrification in New York. So he's grown up in Washington Heights, which is a borough that's getting increasingly expensive and the people that have lived there um, that first uh, emigrated there are now being forced to move out and move to cheaper areas because the increasing rents and housing costs is driving them out. So you can sort of draw parallels with what's happening in London maybe at the moment. So why did you choose In the Heights? Like, did you think it would connect to like the young people of this borough? I did, yeah. I'm a big Lynn manuel Miranda fan. I think his musicals are really engaging and as well as using... Um, it's not maybe necessarily a traditional uh, musical like some things you might see like Blame Miz or Cats. It includes rapping. Um, I know the school had previously done Bring It On, which again he did the music for, and that had been really successful. And it combines lots of different styles. So in terms of the dancing, there's like salsa, sort of Latin American, and I just thought it's something that would really engage our students here and they could get quite excited about. So what do you think In the Heights could bring to the school? 
I think it brings lots of energy, I think it brings lots of vibrance, I think it's a really fantastic show. I know that there's lots of staff and students here that love it already and saw it when it was first on in the West End, so they have quite high expectations of it. I think it's a bit of a challenge because it is quite difficult musically and some of the songs are very um, hard as well, but it's really sort of given our students a challenge and some motivation to go out there and succeed, which is great. Where can we get tickets for the Heights? So you can currently get tickets online. We use a website called Ticket Source. So if you go to www.ticketsource.co.uk forward slash HA, you can get your tickets there. And um, we will also be selling some in uh, the canteen on lunchtime break times after the Christmas break as well. Uh, but come and see me if you'd like any more details and check our Twitter feed as well because I'll retweet the, the page regularly. So up next we have um, two guest stars from In the Heights, Luca and Lanya. Hello and welcome to the show, this is HATV. Um, do you have any questions for them, Sora? What's your experience in the music world? Me, this is my first one at Hamster Academy. But I have done a musical beforehand in my prime. Did you really enjoy it? Yeah, I mean. So, um, Lanya, um, so have you had like any ex more experience like um, outside of school, branching off into like more drama? Um, so, when I was younger, I sort of made it my plan to work in theatre and um, I've always done sort of outside sort of workshops and little things, you know, write plays and things like that. And In the Heights is the musical that got me into musicals, so doing this um, musical with like a bunch of people that are really cool and really talented is just one of the best things. Okay. So, what's the musicals about? This musical is about a um, little block in a section called the Barrio in Washington Heights, which is a place in New York. It just details the like livings of a few characters and they struggle with poverty, oppression and like racism and gentrification. Um, the main plot is that they going about day to day and somebody wins the lottery. I'm not gonna say who. I'm gonna watch the show. Um, and yeah, then it goes on from there. What do you think the highlight of the whole play would be? <laughs> I think a lot of it is just rehearsals and I think for a lot of it this isn't our first musical and also the blend between people whose first musical is and the olders, um, being able to share that experience with each other is definitely rehearsals because it shows like the worst parts of people and the best so we have these really funny inside jokes that we'll just bring up in the corridors and things and it's just a really lovely experience. What do you think the audience will get to take away from watching it? So um, like how would they feel after watching it? I'll sort of paraphrase what Mr. Brooklyn said, I think it was yesterday. Where we live in an area, Bush, where it is dealing with the gentrification itself. You see like a lot of people being pushed away from their housing, new housing has been built. What they what, what I think they might take away from this would be that our area here is going through things that the characters are going through. Gentrification. I don't know about poverty really. But yeah. <laughs> racism. And to take away from it is like no, like A where you came from, where you live, and like take pride in where you live, your area, the people around it, the shopkeeps, people you know, people you see day from day. Just know that they're there and appreciate them. So when was the play on? When did it start and end? So you can see the HA musical In the Heights on the 18th and 19th of January at 7 o'clock and the tickets are on the HA website for £4 for students. So um, thanks for joining us today um, on the HA TV. Hopefully this has given you more insight on In the Heights. <laughs>
Well, my favourite part was the Battle of the Bands because how the audience inspired and deemed to keep carrying on when he had a tough situation. And it was very important. Yeah, well, that's it for today. Goodbye. Goodbye.